I've been complaining about here the last couple of weeks that guys are not reporting things that are wrong with the trailer and that was the case again today so I had to get a few things fixed before I could head out yeah again a marker light out on the driver's side and the front trailer on the top right there visible I mean when you disconnect your lines you can easily see that your marker light is out the most visible thing was the spring that holds up the hoses there in the back of the trailer was broken it was hanging on the floor it was uh, basically laying on the ground that was obvious you could see that from a mile away you know and then another thing that wasn't very obvious, but uh, it was uh, broken, was the license plate light. The lens around the light was broken, completely broken. I mean, the light was still working, but I got them to change that right away too. It's just a matter of getting some water in there and that light is gonna be burning out. So he changed the license plate light, put a new spring on, for the hoses to hang up nice and high and he put a new light up here on the marker light here for the uh, for the trailer up here on the top now we're good to go so here we are heading down south you guys want to guess where we're going well we're going to Paris Kentucky yes we have been down there before but it's been a while ago since we've been down there. And I like going to this place. Very nice place. Very beautiful too. Nice sceneries around the area where I deliver to. Indeed. Indeed they are. We got to cross Roseau today. So let's get on down the road. Yeah. And let's see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. I'm thinking it's going to be a fantastic day. Very nice trip. It's actually a full two days worth of driving down there. So that's a pretty good trip. Yep, I like it. It's not bad for a Wednesday, I tell you that much. I did not expect this kind of load, I guarantee you that. I thought for sure I was going to be going to Dryden, Ontario and picking up a load over there and going south, but you know, today we got lucky, yeah, that's good, we need to get lucky every once in a while, right, that's what I like to call it, but anyways, let's get on down the road and let's show you what we can. And thank you uh, guys for joining me today and watching my vlog. Hopefully you'll watch it all the way to the end. Because we sometimes have some goodies coming up, you know. 
sometimes they put a little bonus at the end of the video or or something like that you know so you never know so stick around today is our lucky day yes sir Bob we are now in Minnesota and that DOT was not sitting at the border today so that means that's our lucky day today we will not be getting inspected today that's right oh that's fantastic news I love it I love it that means we can just cruise right along yeah so it's a beautiful beautiful day out here too nice and sunshine it was a little bit cool again this morning like minus 19 but uh, hey that's not what we can't handle right especially if it's beautiful sunshine like it is right now I'm loving it easy border crossing too so everything was nice everything was set up so we're good to go so now we got 1122 miles to go until we get up to Paris Kentucky yeah we'll do a good chunk of that today and then uh, get as close as we can possibly get tomorrow and we'll do our delivery there on Friday morning yeah I'm kind of hoping though that I would get me a load from there to Toronto so that way I could uh, I could be out there you know getting some good miles in you know that'd be some fantastic miles again if I could uh, go up to Toronto and then back home again or something like that that would be awesome or maybe even from Toronto to Alberta that would be a pretty good run too because I kind of want to be back for the next weekend like not for this coming weekend but the weekend weekend after that I mean it's like the uh, well, my calendar is still on February, so. But I think it's like the 10th or 12th, yeah, something like that. So, uh, for that weekend or whatever. So, that would be the weekend that I would like to be home. And I have a couple of reasons for that. I don't know if I will be home, though. But we'll see if we can line it up so that way I can be home for that weekend. That would be awesome just before I got to the border there was actually three uh, three deers walking across the road there just before the border I mean literally within a couple of hundred yards of the border you know there were three of them nice big deers you know walking across them across the line up there but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here well 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 guys and gals we have now passed Swan River, Minnesota. Yeah, that's right. We made a little bit of a pit stop in there at the truck stop. Had to go use the restroom. Take care of some business. And now it is starting to. Uh, not really snow snow but light flurries in the air that's right the light flurries hopefully it's not gonna be too bad hopefully it won't be snowing a lot so that the roads get slippery and uh, we will be able to continue on rolling here tonight I do have some plans planned right now for Duluth, Minnesota. We're not gonna reveal all the details on what we're gonna do or what our plan is until it actually happens. But uh, for right now, we do have some plans. Yeah, we'll see if those will come true. If they do, then uh, they do. If they don't, then they don't, I guess, right? But, uh, yeah, we're just cruising along here. And it's a good day to be out here again. It was nice and sunny earlier, but... You now, as you can see, it's light flurries. 
that doesn't matter. As long as it's not worse than what we got right now, we'll be okay, right? I think so. And I think the reason why it's doing this is because we're getting closer to the lake, like Superior Lake up here. I think that's why it's doing it. But yeah, we already got about four and three quarter hours worth of driving in today, so we can still drive a few hours yet today, which I have planned for right now to do. Might get a little late tonight by the time we stop, but uh, hey, we will try and get a few miles in today, that's for sure. Don't know exactly how far we'll make it. Maybe Black River Falls will be it, maybe not. You never know. But anyways, let's get on down the road and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Well, 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 guys and gals, we are only a few miles away from Duluth, Minnesota. This is already the beginning of it, and have a look at the beautiful train here. Dutch Museum Iron Range, I think that's what they call it. And then they got this big fighter jet right up here in the air. Look at that, right there to the right, US Air Force. Quite a nice museum they got up there. That's right. And I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. And that is, we are actually planning on meeting up with somebody. Yeah. And they are subscribers of mine. That's right. So we are definitely going to be meeting up with them. From what it sounds like they are on their way over there already. We have uh, agreed up on a location. That's right. And the reason why you see me wearing a jacket is because uh, just a couple of miles down the road here I uh, saw a repair shop there and I needed to get my wheels retorqued. And I wanted to get it done over there by Biduit or whatever the heck they call it up there. And uh, that place they said their wrench was broken. So they couldn't do a retorque for me. So then I saw this place here and I said I'll pull in there. I never really could tell if they were open or not. But yeah, I pulled her in there and said yep we can do it right away. No problem, 15 bucks. Not bad. It's 0.2 miles to the I think two uh, uh, love nuts that were a uh, little tiny bit loose, but nothing major, you know. I've had way worse. So, uh, yeah. So we got everything taken care of. We got the wheels all retorked now. And now we are coming into the area of the loose. Minnesota that is of course beautiful area up here look at that we're way up on top of here and way down there that's where Duluth is 3.5 miles away from my destination on where I am going to be making my pit stop so let's get on down over there and let's meet up with these people I've heard from another subscriber slash YouTuber that these are very nice people and I am talking to them on Zelo all the time so uh, sounds like they're very nice people so we're gonna get to meet them and so are you I believe I believe you guys are also gonna get to meet them well first we gotta get there right alrighty guys here we are in Duluth and we are meeting up with nice Scott meet and you. Lisa you're a little camera Hi. shy I know <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay we're gonna go for have a bit bite to eat right sure that's what I figured yeah. so you ready we can go we can yeah? get in the car and drive over there if you or want. you want to walk no well, she, she can't walk too far but... all right 
Otherwise, we'll go over I would. It. How long have you been in Duluth? You do all your life? I've been all my life. Yeah. Here, I grew I up the across the street. Across the street. Yeah. My mom and dad lived there, and then 20 years ago, my dad passed away five years ago. But, uh, they moved about 20 miles north of town, all around the lake. And now my mom still lives there. Oh, nice. Uh, I've, I've been in my house since 1981. Before I was born. <laughs> One year. Really? Yeah, I've been, been there a long time. <laughs> I'm actually only going to be turning 34 here in May. Wow. I'm a young kid, yeah. You're, you're a youngin', yeah. <laughs> yep. well, you're, you're three years older than our daughter. She wow. just turned 30 the other day. Okay. Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got a sister and a brother that are younger than me, too. We're not going to do that today, though. We're go my brother is 26, and my sister is going to be turning 33. Hmm. But she lives up in Paraguay. Okay. But my brother lives down here, too. But I like Duluth, you know, it's beautiful up here, you know, like, especially when you come down from that highway too, yeah. overlooking Duluth. Yeah. At night time, I don't know if you've ever come down at oh, night yeah, with the lights. Of times, yeah. And see, we don't, I guess we don't appreciate it as much as yeah, because you used to. Yeah, yeah, we see it yeah. all, and, yeah. but it is, it is a nice city, not, not real big. When Kayla and I first moved here, it was six, 16 years ago this month, on the 10th, actually. Okay. But um, we had an apartment down away a couple no. miles from your house. And our, our TV didn't, there was no good reception. You know, if you got mm -hmm. cable or whatever, it was fine. But I couldn't afford that right then. And Kayla said, who needs a TV? Because mm -hmm. when you looked out our window, it was right to the lake. So she just turned her chair and <laughs> sat <and> lodge <laughs> out the window. Now we don't even realize it. I mean, you care less now, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it always is, you know. And now the same thing with people that live in big cities all the time. They don't realize how gorgeous the world is, you know, when you get out of the big city. How yeah. You can't even see the stars in the city, you know. Right. Too many lights and mm -hmm. big buildings. Yeah. And, yeah. And in some places, she's from North Dakota, but, you know, you don't see a tree for miles. Yeah. Yeah. And I come from a little tiny town. It's got like four streets each direction. Hundred wow. people on a good day. Scott thinks it's like Mayberry back from Andy Griffith Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. You don't have to use a blinker because everybody knows who you are, where you're going. Mm -hmm. Can't be too far from where you are. It's, it's Max Bass, North Dakota, which is straight north of Minot, about 45, 50 miles. Right okay. down the Saskatchewan border almost. Yeah, that's Saskatchewan, yeah. So that is that is quite a bit further east of no, yeah. west of me. True. Yeah, that's yeah. Manitoba. Yeah. Yeah. We're like 12 miles from the border, I think, isn't it? Something well, like that. 12 or 16. Yeah. So you actually live like north? You said east of Minot? Northeast. Yeah. Northeast. Oh, okay. About 45 miles. Yeah, I'm not sure that I've been down there. I've been in Minot a few times. We haven't been home for. Seven years? That's what he was saying the other day. Yeah, he yeah. said seven or eight. So it's, it's changed a lot since the last, because it's grown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they built, an, uh, they built a Fly and J up there in Minot, no? They have a Tim Hortons, too. That's what I heard, <laughs> yeah. I think he was saying the other day, yeah. Josh was... He was just there, or on the video there. was just there. Mm -hmm. but there used to be a truck stop. Yeah, they're, they're, that truck stuff is still there, but further down the road, they have a Flying J down there now. More into town? Actually, okay. on the other side of town, pretty much on the outside of the other side of the town. Oh, okay. Like when you come come down, uh, what is that again, 52? 52 or something, when you come into Minot going west, on the left, on the, yeah, you would see on the left-hand side, that's where that one truck stuff is. That one has been there for years. Yeah. And then further down, they got that flying jet. Okay. 
Yeah, the one truck stops, the one we always used to go right. to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now it's got a nice restaurant in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, see, like around no. here, there's nothing. No. I mean, just these little, small, little small yeah. there's no... You know what pisses me off about that? They, they discontinued that BP up there, you know? I used to like that a lot, you know, they had a driver's room, they had free internet in there, they had showers. This place don't even have showers, you know? They don't really want you to stop there, that's the way I look at it, because they built it in a way only a few trucks can park in there now. It yep. used to be you could at least get 30 or 40 trucks in there, not now. You maybe get four or five, that's it. They built it the way so that the, the whole fuel station takes up almost all the parking lot. They just want you to feel and go, you know. It's, it's getting bad. I mean, I know listening to you guys and stuff, the parking, and I know mm -hmm. back when I was doing it, the parking, I remember parking on a ramp, mm -hmm. the off ramp on the wrist area because it was so full down in Wisconsin. Yeah. But, I mean, we, we get, I don't want to say a lot of trucks, but we get lot coming through from mm -hmm. uh, Canada and, and whatever and but they just don't Superior over the bridge right there has some small ones but you mm -hmm. know a little maybe a little bit bigger than the one right over here but not much. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You guys need anything else? No? Mm -hmm. Good. Alrighty guys, let's take a look. We got us a fish. That's right, some fish and potato. So we'll get to eat and then we'll be right back. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say goodbye to our friends Scott and Lisa. Very nice <laughs> seeing you. Yes, and thanks for dinner. And uh, time. we got to get out of here. So uh, we're going to get back on the road and we'll see you down there. Well guys, here we are. Going to leave the loose now. We are just about to enter into Wisconsin. Yeah, there's a couple of open spots up there on the lake. That ice is really thin, you can tell that's for sure. Yeah, I see it right there. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to see it, but right there over the edge there, I can see the water. I yeah, know you might be able to see it there a little bit. But yeah, it's really thin, uh, thin water up there, that's for sure. Ice, I meant to say. Crossing border. Yeah. Wisconsin. Here we are. Now we are officially in Wisconsin. Yeah, we had us a very nice uh, dinner and meeting with uh, Scott and Lisa. Yeah. Appreciate you guys coming on with me and hang out with me for a few minutes. Have a nice bite to eat. That's right, so now we got to start gearing down so we can uh, slow her down there for making our turn because we got to make a turn down here. Yep. Before you know it, it's going to be dark already. It's like 5.36 right now. In the evening. Yeah. It's beautiful coming down here though. We know Wisconsin, alright. Some advertisement. So let's get on down the road. I know it's pretty much dark already, but uh, we're gonna try and show you what we can, right? Alrighty guys and gals, we are now in Tomaha, Wisconsin. Tomaha. Tomaha, Wisconsin it is. We had to kind of uh, park right over here across from that McDonald's. And there's like four parking spots over here. There's an RV or whatever you want to call it. And it's parked right beside me there. But there's one open spot on the other side or two. And it's one more spot there and that's it. Everything else over there is filled up. Yeah, I usually don't drive this late but uh, yeah, today I did make an exception right but we are done for today i guarantee you that we are tired and we are done 
and they got this whole section under construction over there so I missed my exit there because it's all under construction and uh, you know all kinds of headlights coming uh, from the front of me and all that stuff so I didn't uh, didn't really see the uh, exit until the last minute and I didn't want to slam on my brakes so I just went to the next exit and made a uh, U-turn and came back that's right that's the way to do it in my opinion so uh, but we are finito finished so we'll go to bed here pretty soon probably put these files in my computer and do all that good stuff and then uh, we'll uh, hop into the bed so with that being said hope you enjoyed today's vlog we, we met some nice people I hope you enjoyed that as well so stick around for tomorrow we'll be back at it again so have a good one we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down